What is good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. This is Odd Talks and Gaming coming back at you today. And today, people, today, guess what I got for you? I have a Heavy Metal Raiders deck uh, showcase. We're going to be playing against Spellproof Armor today. My opponent did very, very well, and I think I had a really fun duel when I played against this guy. So without further ado, I'm going to jump right into this. Uh, we end up winning the die roll. And which is really good for us because we want to make sure we're going second. That was because with only starting with three cards in hand, we want to make sure we at least have four when we play against our opponents. Um, so uh, the opponent goes ahead and he activates his Heat Wave. I really like this card in the Spellproof Armor. If you don't know, this is my favorite spell card in Speed Duels right now. I think this card is very uh, overpowered, and I also feel like a lot of people aren't playing it. Um, I use the Spellproof to summon out their Alley of Justice. Uh, we draw for turn, we're going to drop the Allure and draw two, and then we're going to get rid of our Twin Barrel Dragon. We're then going to set her to Koji, and then set her Magic Drain and her Book of Moon face down. It's our opponent's turn. He's going to tribute out the Ally of Justice for the Jinzo. Uh, he's then going to attack into our uh, Dekochi, and then we're going to draw a card. We're going to activate the effect of our skill, keeping our monster alive. We're going to tribute our Dekochi, summon our uh, Blowback Dragon, and we're going to flip a couple, a couple coins. We get a Tails, we get a Heads, and we get a Tails. So we don't destroy the monster, but that's okay, because we're going to bow into the Jinzo, saving our monster with the Heavy Metal Raiders, and taking 100 damage. We're now at 2400 attack. So the only way he can out this now is by summoning another Jinzo. Uh, he uses the Night Beam here, hitting our face down, um, what is it? Uh, Magic Drain. I summon my Twin Barrel Dragon, use his effect, targeting the Jinzo. I get a Tail, so my effect doesn't resolve. I use my Blowback Dragon. I get a Heads. And I get a Heads. This is going to out the Jinzo. We're going to move into our battle phase. And that was lethal. He had no plays. Alright. He's playing a really neat tech. I didn't even mentioned this during our game. He plays X Head Cannon in this. It's not a dark monster, but it's still really neat to just see another like normal monster to play with his heat wave. And it's, uh, it's a machine, so it's unaffected by spell. Effects. The nobleman draw was so powerful here. So he's going to just use nobleman, hit our ally of justice, um, and then summon the bird, and then attack us for 2300. Uh, we're going to go ahead and set our magic drain, summon our twin barrel. We need our twin barrel to resolve here. But of course it doesn't, because we only get two coin tosses. We're going to take some damage, put ourselves to 2300 attack points. And then our opponent's going to use the offering here. we are going to magic drain, they're going to discard their sword they just drew for turn. And then uh, he's going to go for the reason. Moving on to game three, we're going to be taking second again. That way we can get our draw in. We're looking pretty good with the allure in hand. Anytime that I see allure in my starting hand when I play this deck, I always feel like it's like really, really powerful because I only have those three cards. So once I draw for turn going second, I can then get more resources to my hand as fast as possible. That way I can uh, utilize my field spell a little bit more. The opponent goes ahead and uses heat wave. And uh, so, which is fine in our situation. We're going to allure here. We're going to draw two, ditch our ally of justice, set it to coach you, and set our. Uh, Book of Moon face down. The opponent Night Beams our Book of Moon. Uh, uses Tribute to the Doomed. Which I thought was a really neat tech. To out our face down monster. He then summons X Head Cannon and attacks us for 1800. We draw for turn and summon Duralago and then attack our opponent directly for 1600. We pass our turn. Our opponent draws the Pendulum Machine. The opponent attacks our Drillago with the Pendulum Machine, making us lose 150 life points. Uh, and then X Head Cannon attacks Drillago, which is now at 1750, so we lose 50 life points, but we lose our monster. I now summon Twin Barrel Dragon. I'm going to use my effect, targeting the Pendulum Machine. The reason I target the Pendulum Machine here is because I want to maximize the amount of attack I get. So I'm going to get uh, a Heads and a Heads. So that's going to out his Pendulum Machine. We're going to move to our battle, making me gain uh, 100 attack points by losing 100 life points. And then we're going to end our turn. The opponent draws for turn, sets the Solidary Sword of Poison, and then passes his turn. We draw, we set our card, tribute off our Twin Barrel, and then we use our Blowback Dragon. 
targeting the back row. We get a heads. And we get another heads, destroying the face down card. Moving to our battle, we attack his uh, X-Head Cannon with our Blowback Dragon. Our opponent draws for turn, draws each in though, and then a Mystic Beat. So all in all, I feel like my opponent played very, very well with his deck. He had some really neat techs. I like the Solidary Sword of Poison. I like the Tribute to the Doomed. Um, offerings and Heat Wave are always good to have in this deck. Uh, I feel like my deck performed the way it was supposed to perform in this matchup. I did very well. Blowback Dragons and Twin Barrel Dragons actually resolved for once. That never happens for me. And uh, I even got to resolve a Magic Drain at one point. Uh, so that was actually really nice. Um, but other than for that though guys, if you like these types of videos, make sure you leave a like, and if you like me, make sure to subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section down below, I would love to hear more from you guys. But other than for that, everybody, uh, stay awesome, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!